right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel. Say hello to Ren and Stimpy and Powder Toast Man and Log and TV, and let's get started, guys. I'm pretty excited for this review for a couple of reasons. Well, first of all, this is from Buck, and this is uh, the Highline. Uh, why am I excited? Because, well, nothing Buck has put out in recent memory has really kind of caught my attention. I mean, let's just be honest. Um, this one at $38 um, with D2 steel and uh, an aluminum frame lock uh, with a G10 onlay, I would call it, or in, they call it an inlay, but it looks like an onlay to me. That's what I would call it. Uh, antique uh, brass um, hardware, really cool looking, even in the, uh, the lanyard hole is that bronze. Uh, really cool. You do have the Buck logo here. Everything is, you know, you got this contour G10 that looks great in, uh, you can see that texture and it feels good in the hand. Um, you know, pretty grippy, very much so. And uh, again, everything's finished out well. Uh, the, the pivot does stand out just a little bit, um, but really, really nicely done. Um, and so, you know, it's just something I wanted to celebrate. Hey, an American company building a knife, uh, you know, and I think this one is made in China. Uh, if, yeah, made in China, but I, you know, again, it's an American company buck. So I want to celebrate that. The second thing is this is the first ever knives fast, uh, SMKW affiliation knife. Now you guys know that I am an affiliate with SMKW. I have a link down in the description, if you click that link and buy something on SMKW, you don't get a discount, but I get a percentage back uh, every once in a while. Now, I got finally got my first payment, and what I'm going to do, what I did, is take that exact amount, or pretty close to it, uh, sometimes a little bit over probably, but this time right at the number, um, and I spent uh, that on this knife, and I'm going to review the knife and then give it away to you guys. And how are we going to give it away? Well, stick around. You're going to find out. Um, but uh, I, so I'm very excited because that means you guys used my link uh, a bunch. And uh, people have been using it recently as well. Um, and so my hope is to continue doing this. Uh, as I get a, a, you know, a payment, I'll turn it around and, and buy a knife, review it, and give it away. So uh, thank you uh, so much, SMKW. And thank you guys for using my link. Now, if you open the blade, by the way, you just saw... Very uh, good on the flipper tab there. I like the shape here where you can get your hand in there. Now, I screwed it up that time. Uh, and the detent's pretty good, guys. You know, you kind of got to, you can fail it as you just saw, uh, but you kind of got to, well, see, I just it must have just been just right. Uh, you got to really wimp it out uh, to do that. Uh, you do have the model number here, the buck there, and then they went all in with the cleaver style. You got this stone wash finish. You got uh, the nail hook here with uh, a little fuller, uh, rounded, I would almost call it it's chamfered, but yeah, it's pretty close to crowned. Uh, and again, the way I, I've been gripping this guy, that, that jimping is actually in the perfect spot. Uh, you got good full finger grip back here. Uh, the pocket clip is not an issue in that regard. We'll talk a little bit more about the pocket clip in a minute. You do have uh, that same color backspacer, antique bra uh, bronze, excuse me. I keep wanting to say brass. Uh, finger choil is great for me. Feels good. Ergonomics are good. You do feel the clip, but it's, like I said, not a hot spot at all to me. The only thing I would say is the kind of fat of this part of my finger sort of goes in that slot. And it could be, I just wish two things on the clip. Number one, I wish they had rounded this off a little bit so it wasn't sharp because it is. Uh, by the way, the clip is pretty deep carry, a little tiny bit left over, but not much. Uh, the clip is a little low and a little stiff, so it's a little rough getting it all the way in the pocket. Um, other than that, good retention, no problem um, there. And I again, the finishing is well done. Again, I'm impressed. So uh, let's see. So flipping it open is good. Uh, there is a little bit of, because the flipper tab is small, you want to pull straight back. If you kind of pull down, it's a little sharp. It kind of catches my fingernail right here on the edge. Now, they uh, again, they call this an aluminum frame. So I assume this is also aluminum in the lock bar. It doesn't really uh, come right out and say that. You do see the detent ball down there. Uh, there's no um, uh, reduction 
uh, as far as weight reduction milling. Uh, but the, this guy is only uh, 3.9 ounces. It feels pretty good for the size uh, that it is. So uh, really, really nicely done. Now, um, you know, you kind of got to, let's see, let's see if I can, lock bar access is pretty good. Uh, it is a little stiff on the lock bar, so you kind of have to dig in a little bit more than I would like. It is riding on bearings, by the way, uh, and it's a shake shut, not a drop shut. Um, let's see how we are. We are off to the show side ever so slightly, not too bad. Um, there, let's talk about comparisons and size. Uh, here is the Ontario Rat 2. Um, just a little bit bigger than the Rat 2 on both ends. Let's, let's line it up to the pivot. Yeah. Well, actually, the handle's about the same, and the blade's just a little bit bigger. And then we'll put the big old Rat 1 out here, too. Um, line it up pivot to pivot. So quite a bit bigger on both ends, as you can see there. So let's talk specs. Um, this guy is a 3.25 inch, uh, cleaver blade. You got that, uh, nice high flat grind there. Very nice. And, um, you got, um, uh, 4.375 inches closed, 7.5 overall and 3.9 ounces. Um, ambidextrous, uh, they call it ambidextrous, but it doesn't have a place to put, well, maybe it does, because that clip goes under, let's see. You know what, guys? I am not sure. It says ambidextrous. Uh, if it is, see how the clip, no, see, it. there's a cutout there. Well, all right, hold on, I'm gonna look at it off camera. All right, I'm going to take their word for it. It looks like um, maybe I cannot tell whether there's a cutout in that G10 material or not. So they do say uh, it's ambidextrous. I just don't quite believe it without taking that scale off to see. So you'll have to find that out if you're a lefty. <coughs> Sorry. Um, so really cool uh, little knife. Again, stone wash blade. Um and uh, tip up uh, on the uh, clip there. I was trying to see if I was missing anything, and I don't think I am. So really cool little knife. Now, how are we going to give this away? Now, guys, I'm not going to make a big deal. I'm not going to call this giveaway. Uh, and going forward, I'm probably going to talk about it even less. But uh, your comment on this video, so give me a thumbs up, and your comment on this video will enter you. I'll probably let this run for a week or so. Uh, on the on the review and then uh, draw a winner uh, on a separate video. So, yeah, your comment on this video will enter you to win this Buck Highline. So, again, thanks to everybody who used my code. Um, really, really appreciate. I mean, it blows my mind that you guys get behind the channel so much uh, that I just really want to give stuff away, and I do every Monday night on KF Live. And uh, I've been trying to do some extra giveaways here and there, too. Uh, it's just so much fun uh, to, to share uh, this hobby with you guys. I really appreciate it and uh, kind of really wanted to make sure uh, that I, I share it with you again. And um, there you go. Oh, man, I was so excited uh, for the affiliation knife here that I forgot to mention a couple of key things. Uh, number one, there is no blade play. Uh, no lock rock. Now, I, I, I wanted to point out that when I when I rock this, you can feel this lock bar. Uh, I say there's no blade play because I don't feel it. But when I have my finger on the lock bar, you can feel the lock bar moving a little bit uh, when you do that. Again, lock up seems good. There's no lock stick or anything like that. You can see we're talking like uh, 35 or maybe even 40%. Uh, lock up. Uh, I just wanted to make sure I mentioned that. By the way, on cutting, uh, the stock is, um, you know, it's fairly thin, but it's a little thick. Uh, they came with a pretty good edge. Uh, it kind of hangs up a little bit on paper, probably just needs a stropping. Uh, so just wanted to mention those couple of things. So guys, I totally appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, if you're not subscribed, please consider doing so. Again, make sure you leave that comment and give me that thumbs up. And uh, guys, I totally appreciate everything. Thanks for watching the Knives Fast channel.